Mona. <laughs> if all else fails, she's very good on the piano. <laughs> um, okay, so my name's Emily. I'm actually Welsh. Is that boy really Welsh, or is he just taking the piss out of Welsh people? Okay. I'll have a chat with him at half time. <laughs> um, yeah, m my name's Emily, I'm Welsh, and my dad is a sheep farmer. And um, he's very protective of me because my mum died when I was six or seven. And um, I'm his only child, so he's, you know, we're very close. And um, this year he said to me, or last year, sorry, he said, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, well, I'd really like Dad. I'm a little bit ashamed to admit it, but I, I would like you to buy me a onesie. <laughs> and um, I opened my presents on Christmas Day, and uh, this is what he bought me. <laughs> and I thought, oh, Dad, you know, you got it wrong, but it's a thought that counts. Um, and um, I said to him, it's not quite exactly what I was looking for, you know. Um, but um, I think, I thought that this is what he thought a onesie was. But when I had a chat with him about it, what he said was, he was trying to be clever, you see. And he said to me, Emily, I've always been a father who has worshipped you. After Mammy sadly left us, much too young. He said, I'd always be your father and will worship you. But I have to say, you can have too much fun. I don't want no boys to touch you or to look at too much of you. Hence the farmer's overalls. When you asked me for a onesie, I fainted, thinking of your mum, see. She'd be turning in her stores Now that you have moved to London All my hard work would be undone If I let you have it all Can't pretend to understand you But can tell men to unhand you If you love your dear old dad You'll always wear a pair of overalls Now, what my dad doesn't quite understand is that these don't have the effect that he thought that they would and um, I don't like to go against him because like I said we're very close you know so when he bought me them for Christmas I thought well I am gonna have to wear them you know just to sort of make him feel better about it but it's not a lot of fun for me when I'm sitting at home in my flat and my flatmates dressed up like Tigger and I look like I'm going out to fix a tractor <laughs> but um, what I've realized since I started wearing them out and about is to get to a lady's knockers only have to rip the poppers easy access to it all <laughs> pockets in all sorts of places and some unexpected spaces not so safe these overalls women dressed up like mechanics and red-blooded males frantic start them tingling in their smalls I've forgotten what the words are, but it's something to do with what these clothes are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something about overalls. Even if I wanted to be well behaved and virtuous, he's put the kibosh on it all. Stupidly supplying me with outfits with such power, he is greatly increasing my dating options, hugely augmenting my treasure to my diary clashes. Oh, Daddy. Thank you for my overalls. <laughs> well, I nearly got that right. <laughs> I'll just do them up again. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think what he thinks, I think that he thinks that I just walk around dressed like this now and that no one will ever talk to me ever again. Um, there's a lot that he doesn't know about what goes on in my life, and I like to keep it that way. Um, I went to Columbia last year with my friend Gwen, 
And um, we went there for three weeks, and I think he still thinks that we were on some kind of fact-finding mission about nuns, which we weren't. <laughs> um, and uh, like I said, we were there for about three weeks, and after about a week and a half, we got really fed up with each other. And um, she absolutely drove me completely potty, and I'm sure I drove her potty too. Um, but we were staying in this place where luckily there were other people, and we hooked up with these... I say hooked up. We started hanging around with these two Irish lads. And um, we went to the beach together and went out drinking and had a lovely time. And it came to the end of the week and Gwen and I were going off the next day. So we'd all gone out for dinner and um, spent the evening together. And inevitably, we paired off. Um, so I went off with one of them and she went off with the other one. And... Uh, Let's just say it was magical at the time. And I woke up the next morning and I looked over at him and I thought to myself, Please don't touch me. I'm sobered up. <laughs> Put your clothes on. Thank you very much. Oh. Please <laughs> <laughs>